The brain has the ability to heal from traumatic, from trauma then, mm-hmm. physical and emotional trauma, mm-hmm. because I feel like the emotional hidden trauma mm. can be more painful and harder to recover for some, the psychological, emotional trauma, than the physical trauma. You can, you can see it and you can treat the physical trauma in a sense, but depending on how intense it is, but the emotional, psychological, hidden traumas, I feel like are invisible and people don't think they need to treat it because they don't see a broken arm and say, I need to go to the doctor because my my bone is sticking out. Let me put a splint on it and and heal it up. We're not trained that way. Mm. There is no easy answer. Yeah. But what what I will say is that um, trauma this is just these are my concepts they're not I'm not yes there's therapeutic trauma mm-hmm. and, and what I mean by that is resetting a bone after it's broken mm-hmm. the pain of a cancer surgery but then you know that your cancer has been cut out like that that's good pain right uh, and we're just talking about physical trauma yes then there's emotional trauma if when if people are attacked that's also intimately connected to emotional trauma right so the the People who don't have memory after certain uh, injuries or operations, they never have PTSD because they don't remember it. Mm. So the emotional context and memories huh. related to trauma, be it emotional, physical, or a combination, requires memory. That's cool, right? I like to think yes. about like just as a concept. I, I don't have a solution for. <laughs> I don't. Hey, don't do these three things. You'll be better. Sort of not my approach because. When people did that with me, I was like, how do you know what I'm going through, man? You look at me, you think everything's good. Are you sure? Are you sure I wasn't attacked last night? Are you sure I didn't find out that my patient didn't do well last night? Are you sure I didn't find out that a loved one was diagnosed with something? You know, like, I just don't want to put people in the, uh, in in boxes. In fact, I want people to know that they are new every day. You're, I'm not even the same uh, version of myself I was before the last few years. How can I be understood as a a group of people, a mm. man or a surgeon, you know, I just want people to think as of each other as individuals yes. and dynamic. That said, uh, I never judge people's trauma to be better or worse. People are looking or, or stronger or justified. Uh, they're looking at everybody's going to have a traumatic event in their life. Whether it's a car crash or hearing, there's, it's unavoidable. It's partly because we put ourselves out there. It's partly because the way we approach the world is to be completely um, adaptive, Mm -hmm. right? If we're rigid, then there's less chances for trauma, but but that's a life less well lived. So when you put yourself out there, traumatic experiences are unavoidable. That said, okay? So that said, yeah, you get a bruise. What I'm hearing you say is, but what I'm hearing you say is that if we don't have the memory of the traumatic event, we don't have PTSD. We don't have trauma. Right. We don't have a trauma yeah. tale. Right. So that that's the that's the concept that people that I want people to walk away and say memory is important. But memory is the thing that determines whether the event remains traumatic in your life. Whether heart it's painful mind. still for you. So let's get into that. So we just need to heal the memory right. of the trauma. This is exactly where I'm taking it. Um, very good. The so memories are not uh, files in a cabinet. And actually- In the brain, well, how, yeah. well, how is memory categorized? Again, it's, there are some regions that we, if we remove them, you would lose memory, but memory's not only there, it relies on pulling from memories of smell to new, like for example, smell is very interesting. It's one of the five senses that we can't tamp down with our thinking. So the a perfume or cologne, smell and memory are intimately intertwined. Wow. And so you're pulling from all different parts of the brain. Again, memory is a certain electrical flow in the brain. Um, but it's not, it's malleable. It's moldable. Just because you have a certain memory today doesn't mean that that experience, good or bad, will remain good or bad. Our pop, our positive uh, vibe right now can be made negative. Our negative vibe right now can be made positive as we look back at our day to day. Really? So when you see memory that way, then you, then you say, okay, wait a second. Huh. Uh, I was attacked or I was hurt or something really traumatized me. And when I think of it, when I smell that smell, when I see that color, I'm, uh, I'm re- traumatized again. I clench up. I, I have like up. stress, a fear, yeah. anxiety. Yeah. So the emotional huh. 
the emotional context to a memory is what you can change. You don't want to. You don't want dementia. You don't want to yeah. delete the memory because that's a different problem. Yeah. You don't want to block it. You don't want. Yeah. But you, what you want to do is change the emotional context attached to that memory. What happens if we? You hear this from people a lot who might have been traumatized as, as kids, where they forget. They kind of block the memory, and then they remember. When it resurfaces, it's, they resurfaces. It's still raw. It's very raw. Yeah. But they've stuffed it. They've blocked it. They've numbed it. Addicted. Addicted it. Whatever mm-hmm. you want to call it. Driven it to addiction, but yeah, exactly. So, the, so what happens when I don't know? I, I don't know about the the kid mm-hmm. stuff as much because mm-hmm. that that's a different space, gotcha. and I don't want to, you know, I want to stay where I feel real comfortable sure. with what I've been reading and learning. So, emotional context and memory mm-hmm. for adults um, in the right setting with the right person through, you know, they have their techniques. You can actually work through the trauma of the memory and the experience by going to certain therapists who help you get better with that. To so, process the memory. Yeah, just to take take the emotional pain, right, the yeah. emotional trauma, and dampen that so you can say, for example, yeah, I was, you know, I'm, I'm just bringing examples from my world. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, when I was, I was diagnosed with cancer, that's a traumatic event. And then you see my, my patients, you see them over time through different ways. When they say, they say, I was, you know, I was diagnosed with cancer and I did this. It, you, their face is different describing it later than it was immediately after receiving the diagnosis. Mm. So through th- that, that is, that's a real life example, right? I'm not, yes. It doesn't have to be all the stuff uh, you know, related to violence and all that. Sure. Gets, the traumatic experience of a cancer diagnosis and how patients cope with that immediately. And then you see them months later, years later, because I'd be a mess, right? I'd be like, okay, this is, I wouldn't be able to cope. But they, surprisingly, not some of them, most of them cope. They get dressed, they come in for their three month scans, which to me would be a, a traumatic experience every time. Is this guy gonna tell me it's back or it's bigger? I mean, think about it, like, getting that, getting that thing in your mail oh or email, like, I gotta go in for this. Scary. News again, yeah. but somehow they cope, and that's where in in life on a knife's edge, I learned so much from them that it's possible to cope with traumatic experiences. I'm not saying you as an individual can. I'm not saying I can. But when you look at a group of cancer patients, and most of them wow. cope, live, move on from very traumatic uh, emotional experiences as well as physical experience of cancer pain and cancer surgery, right? That's the lesson I want everybody to go through um, in their mind when they're dealing with their own challenges. Wow, Uh, yes. There's therapeutic trauma. Mm -hmm. And and what I mean by that is resetting a bone after it's broken, Mm -hmm. the pain of a cancer surgery, but then you know that your cancer has been cut out. Like that, that's good pain. Right. Uh, And we're just talking about physical trauma. Yes. Then there's emotional trauma if, if people are attacked 